Come on over. We're going to have some talkers for today. All right, we're going to get a start with this. Being so hungry that it makes you cranky is way more common than you may think. Ah, I already know this. I'm an expert. <laughs> the average American is hangry at some point on five out of seven days a week. Now, that's according to a new survey, which also shows how far people will, are willing to go to get rid of their, their hunger. 58% of people say they are willing to eat their least favorite food while they're hangry. While around 40% admitted they've uh, eaten their roommate or partner's leftovers <sighs> or their kids' snacks. I've done all of the above. I don't know, I have a roommate, but uh, I, I've done all of the above. Dang. Okay. Yeah. Trick of the trade. Okay. I carry a protein bar with me. All the time? Where, All the time. Oh, in my purse, yeah. in my oh, really? car. And when, with my boyfriend, he's the same. And yeah. I'm, I'm like, don't worry, babe. I got a protein bar okay. just in case. Okay. He's yeah. like, you are the one. Oh, right. yeah. See, that's right. the way to find it right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. You ever run out? Like eat them and then you're still, it doesn't doesn't work. Sometimes, but you know what? I constantly have gotcha. a lot okay. because yeah. I have to. If not, I get ups, I get yeah. angry yeah. Oh, wow. and I get shaky and oh, I wow. like my I'm brain doesn't work. Yeah. I'm with you. It's I, I'm the worst at putting off eating. There are times and then all of a sudden I'm like, I am so hungry. Wow. But then you I just do? keep going. You put all, you yeah, don't I don't know. Uh, life gets in the way. I, I don't recommend it. It's right. not great. Oh, yeah. I can't yeah. Do that. Or sometimes I prioritize sleep over eating. Uh, yeah. I feel like my brain stops functioning. Yeah. So it's more of like. Yeah. Give me food, and then I'm I like, will say though I don't yeah. eat foods I don't like. Yeah, I don't do that. I either. don't do that. No. I, I've never been so hungry that I'm like, okay, right. I'm gonna eat something yeah. I really don't yeah. like. Like I would never eat a thin mint. What? Oh, now yeah. I could eat. I would eat a sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> a more thin for mint. us. More for us. Yeah, right, exactly. Right, right. All right, moving on. Uh, we're gonna move on to this. How well you really know the history of your house? New survey asked people if they would buy and live in a home where the previous owner was murdered. Ugh. This was pretty split. 30% said yes, 32% said absolutely not, it's a deal breaker, and the remaining 38% said they weren't really sure. But you might have to really do some research to find out if something sinister happened in a house. California, South Dakota, Alaska, and Vermont are the only states with laws requiring sellers to disclose a recent death in a home. Number one, ask the question. I don't care whether they require it or not. At yeah. least ask the question. Number two, I'm not living in a place where somebody's been, no. Yeah. yeah. So I do Absolutely also not. would not like to live where someone's murdered, so that's why I don't ask the question. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You're like, this is a nice I don't want to know. I don't don't tell know. me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't want to know because then I'd start in no. Inquiring, and then I would go down a yeah, rabbit hole. Then you'd hear bumps in the middle of the no, night. No, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. I'd be, yeah. I'd be done. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna pass on living in a house where somebody is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I, I'm asking. I, I think that, you know, whatever. You, I don't know. I People that die questions. angry deaths that never. I don't want <laughs> that juju. Out. You in know my what house. I'm saying? <laughs> like it, they come back <laughs> to haunt. <laughs> I believe. All right. <laughs> Tell us what you believe. Hashtag Good Day DC. 4:52 is our time right now. Coming up, how you can spend a spook tack night with the Sanderson sisters just in time for the release of Hocus Pocus 2. And we're uh, taking a look at the popular pet costumes for Halloween, but you may want to dress your pup up 